Hey y'all, it's Kate at Kate's Garden Chicken and Cat Rambles. And I do hope the microphone is working. I'm having trouble keeping it on my shirt, but anyway. I thought my videos have been kind of lazy and slacking lately. Um, that's just my opinion, of course, but since I don't get tons of feedback on them, uh, I just have to go by my opinion. So come with me and we're going to do a little watering. Let's just water stuff. You can see I left the hose out, and now uh, the car's straddling it, and I didn't bring the keys to move the car. So, so I left the sprayer on, um, so that when I turned the water on, it would automatically start watering the front. <laughs> By the time I got back around the house, and then I just went in and decided to grab the camera. So, these wildflowers have probably had plenty of water. So. Kind of look at the sky here yeah looks like we might get rain we're not supposed to we haven't had rain since uh sunday and monday it hasn't been super hot but it's been warm enough you know pushing the mid to high 80s so um yeah i'm just yeah there's a baggie i was eating walnuts out of and i left it out here i'll pick it up eventually water my little begonia let me turn this off Take a look at the bird bath. So, oh look, I don't know what that is. Might be a male mosquito. He's like, I'm not a very good swimmer. Been in here, treading water. I'm drowning. And you're rescued. Okay, so I've mentioned that people I've heard had say, oh, that's such a lovely bird bath. Well, thank you. It's not really a bird bath. It's a serving platter for like cold meats or since it's got fish and a hey, ocean thing you know seafood maybe or whatever but the uh big platter which was i was using for a bird bath because years ago the original bowl broke and i just uh went to home goods and i bought a big uh not super deep but a platter like you would just set in the middle of the table for decoration and fill with fruit or decorations or cookies or something like that yeah i'm gonna be lazy and just drag this one out of the car and was it the beginning of the summer last spring i can't remember i think i took a video of it or the after effects of it got blown over yeah it's when we had some straight across winds this year it didn't knock the tree down but it blew my hammock across the front yard and into the bird bath and busted the bowl so that platter i've used off and on that one over there but uh i'm always uh kept thinking well i don't want anything to happen to it i don't want it to break you know it's it's so nice and it's an antique and and this year I was just like, what am I, I don't have company. I don't ever serve platters of anything. So it makes a lovely bird bath. It's heavy. It's been knocked over by me and the lawnmower several times, never broke. So anyway, sorry, I'm trying to keep mosquitoes from biting me. Everybody's doing well, but of course, like I was saying about the sky, we're not supposed to get rain until Saturday or Sunday. I think it's saying Saturday now. I'm glad. Well, Sunday maybe, but we're going to an outdoor wedding, so I hope it uh, doesn't rain. But anyhow, um, the cool nights are starting to make this these impatients a little sad looking. The begonias don't mind at all. But uh, I planted onion seed yesterday. I made a little bit of a video about that. And I haven't watered them, and you don't want to water them a lot. You want to really be careful not to overwater, like when you do onion sets, because they'll uh, they'll go mushy and rot. But the soil was pretty dry, so I'm just giving it a bit of a drink right now. These were the two ba the bags I had cucumbers and tomatoes in this year. There's snow peas and a few beets. I didn't have a lot of beet seed. It was left over from last year. So I just planted what I had. Can't remember what kind of beet it was. It was from Haas Tools, of course, but 
Um, so I just planted a row to see how they would do. And because I hated seeing those empty plots. Um, the watermelon, of course, is almost taking over everything, but it's really probably about to the point I should start picking everything that has a dried up tendril. So just a little water for that. A little water for over here. Lost train of thought, but as usual, I come out to water, get the hose on, get to watering, and then some clouds set in. Like, hmm, maybe you'll think about raining. So people always laugh. You know, say, do a rain dance. You know, take advantage of your Native, Native American ancestry. Sorry. And, uh, you know, dance for some rain or pray for rain. I'm like, you know, you really don't need to do any of that. You just walk outside and turn the hose on and get busy doing it. And then Mother Nature is like, oh, oh, did you want some, some water on those plants? Here, let me make it rain. So I'm not going to overly soak anything just in case. But I did plant the foraging grass in the pallet last night after I got the birds up to bed. And while dinner was cooking, I came out and um, put the foraging grasses between in the pallet that I normally do it. And uh, the soil was still pretty damp, but they needed good watering today. So anyway, yeah. I put these over here so they get more sun, and that gives me the freedom that when I get all these uh, watermelon out of here and I can get in there with a the weed eater and pretty severely uh, chop all that down. There's still a watermelon there in the middle of the screen between two layers of fencing. I haven't pulled it out, more curiosity just to see how it's gonna do. This is one of the next biggest ones, but it still has a green tendril. So does this one. And the rest are small. If they ripen, they can ripen and be that small. But I love that because then it's like a little personal watermelon. All right, so I don't want to overwater the onion seed. Give them a drink. So now I'm going to drag my hose back over. These are probably should give a better drink because when it, even though we did have some rain, it didn't come at like an angle. Or, and these two plants, these two begonias, are underneath the roof of the coop. So... I did some coop cleaning the other day. I don't film myself cleaning the coop. But, yeah. So this is pretty much dried out, and now it's got more rain on it. Or probably, I don't know if it's rain or dew. One thing I, I do love about Delaware is that we, year-round, we have a really heavy, heavy dew point. So when you come out in the morning, you almost think it has rain because it's so wet. And of course... Just as I think everything is going smoothly, this pallet, which I've been wanting Paul to move, because it's too big for me to maneuver. I don't have a tractor or anything where I can pick it up. It's still there. And it catches on my hose and aggravates me. So, here you can see the very tall, four plus feet tall, Zinnia and Marigold that are still blooming here in this wildflower patch. So even though it's cold and ice, these marigolds are holding out. The days have been sunny enough and warm enough that it's not really going to affect them. Marigolds are pretty hardy, tough. Really until it gets probably into the 40s, they don't really mind cool nights. I love marigolds. But more than anything, I love red zinnia. My favorite, my favorite, my favorite. That one's nice, but it's not the same. But yeah. So this was the wildflower mix that was for hummingbirds and butterflies and bees. This morning I looked out the window, which is right there. And there was a bee on top of my little red zinnia. Here's Chaos. He's back and wanting to sleep in the pet carrier out here by the coop. He doesn't want to sleep on the porch, either porch where there are plenty of, of sh shelter and bedding from rain. So I don't know if you can see it, but I've got the hardware cloth back over that. I'm balancing this between the fence and my tummy. You can see the little light colored seed down in there where I'm watering. And that is the forage mix, which comes with a little bit of a 
a little bit of soil and mulch with it so you don't have to really mix it in. You can just apply it to your uh, roughed up prepared soil. Which luckily when I came out yesterday I brought my little uh, hand rake thingy, garden rake, and the chickens had already been in there scratching so the soil was already nice and roughed up. I did put some down at this end though I can't cover it and I think this morning they already ate up that seed. But here where I put it the thickest and where it's the widest they don't typically eat down there but uh they can't get to it and i'm just going this time i'm not gonna let them get to it as i'm not gonna pull up the uh the hardware cloth it's stapled down i don't like the risk of loose staples but i also want to uh oops, sorry i'm gonna have to turn this to jet so i can clean the poo yeah, clean the poo off. I'm routinely cleaning the poo off this because this is like where they like to hang out. So if it rains, you know, the rain can definitely uh, take care of the poo. But I'm going to get over here to that pot of peppermint that sits down there towards the end, which the they nibble on it, but they don't abuse it like they do this one. If you saw yesterday's video or you saw Cosmo, he wanted to get to me, but since there's a fence between us, he took out his scratching and his anger on this little peppermint plant. Um, it's good to float peppermint, sprigs of peppermint in their water. It's good that it helps, uh, helps hydrate them, helps keep them cool in the summer, and peppermint is a good uh, anti-parasitic uh, but they like to nibble on it and so I keep pots of it of course then they have the big multi mint patch there in the back which you can't really see anymore it's about it's about done but just wanted to give everything a drink while I was out here chaos seems to always want to drink out of the hose so he does have fresh water he gave him fresh water a little while ago because I came out and he had thrown up all his lunch in it so what I think what he did was he ate really fast and then he drank really fast. The inside cats will do that sometimes. Sorry about the noise, but I always fill up this uh, watering can. I try not to let it stop biting my ankles. I can't see it, but I can feel it. Just so I have it extra to water stuff if I need. I don't usually let it set in summer, but since we're having these cold nights, I've been filling it up at night and letting it. I still get mosquitoes, and I'm probably just fooling myself that it's makes a difference, but, sorry, it's biting me. Anyhow, I don't want to get his little bed wet. But he's under the eaves here. The eaves are where I keep tools up in that pallet. And, sorry, he's gonna, get a mosquito on the other arm I'm having to knock off. But, yeah, it's hard to film when you're watering and there's bugs, but, I've been getting plenty of eggs still. Uh, I was able to keep Miss Lily's egg today. She didn't lay a pullet egg. She laid probably a medium sized egg. Now, Zin Zin's little green egg was uh, still a pullet size. And so I threw that out there for them to eat on. I mean, you can cook them up. You can eat the pullet eggs. They're fine. They're just so small that you can't really use them for a recipe. And, they're like maybe two or three bites of an egg, so it's kind of pointless to fry them up. I add them sometimes if I have not fed them to the chickens. I'll add them to like scrambled eggs or something and just use them. But anything that's really too small to cook and do stuff with, I uh, throw out to the chickens. Oh, look, a big giant stick bug. I just saw him when I was. Hi there. Oh, it's not. It's a praying manna. Why am I thinking stick bug? Because you kind of look like a stick. I'm sorry. You're like, I'm hanging out here by the water. I love praying mantises and dragonflies. Oops. Fucked up my screen. Sorry about my language, but <sighs> look. See that red spot? Something bit me. And I feel those on my ankles. So I'm going in, but that was me rambling and watering. Maybe we'll get some rain. That would be nice, but I don't want to oversuck my onion seed, so. I'm kind of torn. Rain tomorrow. It's supposed to be hot and warm tomorrow, but 
I think it's just cloud cover. That's the uh, northwest that we're facing. So it's something inland, and I don't think we're supposed to get anything. But anyhow, you guys have a great evening.